happy Saturday, y'all. Um, I wanted today to today to just do a short little video about how I glitter my tumblers. Um, I was gonna go live, was not brave enough to do that because I didn't really know how this was gonna um, pan out. But let me kind of explain to you a short video, you know, of how I do this. Now, other people that make tumblers, you may do it different. There's a ton of different techniques in different ways. So no criticism here. I'm just trying to show my um, everybody on my page a little bit of kind of some of the steps it takes um, and why it might get take so long to get some of these tumblers to you. But I usually do it as fast as I can. But um, first of all, I get out a bunch of parchment paper and different colored glitters, whatever it is that I'm, I'm going to do, and get that set up because I want to keep my glitters as separate as possible just because... They're not all gonna stick to this cup, and so I can reuse that color um, and get as much use as I can out of the glitter. So with this one, I'm gonna attempt to do some kind of a beach kind of theme, like the ocean looking thing. And um, this is gonna be a stitch, like Lilo and Stitch Cup for a friend of mine or um, one of her little girls that I love and adore. But um, anyway, so this is where we start. So to begin with, before I started this, this cup, it's a stainless steel. It had to be sanded down and before I could even spray paint it. So I sand it down, I clean it, and then I can spray paint the cup. You have to do that in order to get the paint to stick. And so this one's already been painted. And on this, I always usually do a base of white, and then I'll apply my color on after that. Um, if you paint straight on the silver, it's just going to have a different color. It's not that you have to do it a certain color. It's just it's going to look different with the glitters or with how you paint it or anything like that. So, and I personally like how glitter looks on top of its same color most of the time. Um, I just think it looks prettier because so you, the glitter doesn't cover every single little piece. You know, some of that color that's underneath will pop through. And um, I, that's just the way I look. Some people might do a white cup and glitter it any certain way because they like that white undertone, I guess, to it. But anyway, so let's start and we'll see how this video turns out. Um, I already have my epoxy mixed up. I don't need much for this at all. Um, it's just a really, really small amount. And I'm fixing to learn that I say um a lot. So I'm gonna do my best to stop saying that. But what I do first is I'll heat up the cup so I think you'll be able to hear me. And the only reason I'm doing this is so my epoxy can get really thin, a thin layer. If I, um, if it gets too thick, it could drip or it could leave clumps and it just doesn't look good. So it doesn't take much to heat up this cup. Let me get that out of the way. That sucker will get hot. I've burned myself from it before. So we got a warm cup. So I'm gonna take my epoxy and I'm gonna do a really thin, thin layer on this cup. And so give me just a second to get all this done. I hope y'all um, are enjoying my page. I've been making cups now, I don't know, since probably about Christmas. My mother-in-law and brother-in-law, sister-in-law, they all kind of got me into this. Um, making cups for Christmas presents and decided I really love it. I mean, when I'm doing this, I don't have to think about anything. I don't think about where I've got to take the kids that day. I don't think about what I have to do for work. I don't, anything like that, you know? So I really enjoy this. This kind of gets my mind off of life, I guess. And, um, and so I, I enjoy making them. Okay, so I'm looking through it. And I think we got a pretty good coverage. So I'm gonna take off that epoxy hand and get this out of the way. Oops. So it doesn't interfere. Um, I'm gonna start with the bottom and trying to do the sand color. So here we go. And now the fine color is gonna give you a lot more coverage than that chunky glitter. And after I'm done with this, y'all are gonna see why we have glitter on us all the time. My poor husband, you can't even walk into this shop 
now. Well, it was supposed to be a shop, right? It's now turned into laundry room slash workout room slash you name it. And we've left Derek a small corner. <laughs> so one day maybe he'll get to um, build his own, you know, building. And then he, maybe he can keep us out of it. I don't know. We'll see. You know, four kids, they're always in everything, and I'm pretty bad, too. I, I take over. But um, anyway, so I'm trying to get the bottom. I want to kind of keep this separate. It's This is the sand, um, a part of the cup. And you always kind of want to give it a good shake. Let that extra come off. Oh, shoot. I just grabbed it. Dang it. That's a no-no. I don't want epoxy all over my hands, but here we are. I'm gonna give that a good coat. There we go. And so once we do our first coat of all of these colors and I decide, hey, I kind of need a little bit more, you know, I need to fill in a little holes here and there. Um, I can always use Mod Podge or something and come back and add some more glitter. So there's that. I'm fixing to have a nightmare probably because I touched, I got some epoxy on my hands. Okay. Now we're on to the white. And this part is going to look kind of like, my goal is, is for this to look like the waves. Come on, come out. The waves. And so I've found that once I do this, I also kind of like to go back and do a little alcohol ink and one of my layers of epoxy. And it's just kind of like a white paint, you know, and people use, um, acrylic paints, all kinds of stuff to add some color to it. But I'm going to do just a small layer of glitter to have it. And in one of my layers of epoxy, I'm probably going to run through with some white and kind of make it look a little swirly, more like waves. So I'm pushing that out of my way. The next one I'm going to go with, we'll see if this works. Um, my goal is to, and it's not even open. My goal is to have one little spot on it where the um, the decal is gonna go. And so I wanna use this just where that decal is gonna go. And then um, I'll fill in with other glitters around to make it look like waves. I'm trying to keep this by itself in a sense because this is glow in the dark glitter. And I found with most of my glow in the dark glitters, it um, it doesn't work good if it's spread all over. It kind of needs to be pretty thick where that is. And my hope is that when I put my little decal on this, that the decal will go there. And in the dark, when the glow comes through, you'll see the outline. So it'll look black where the decal is and it'll glow around it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if that's what actually happens. If it doesn't, then what I do with most of my mistakes is I just cover them up. <laughs> so I think I'm good on that. I'm going to hang on one second. I'm going to move this glow glitter out of the way and then move over my other colors. Okay. So my next couple of colors that I'm using is my goal is to look like ocean water. And there is no rhyme or reason or system as to how and why I'm doing what I'm doing. I just kind of play with the colors until I get the look that I want and add a little bit more here and there and um, just kind of go with it. And um, that's why none of my cups ever look the same, ever. So this is kind of a chunkier glitter. Um, I don't want to cover it solid because I'm going to, I want to blend a lot of these colors in. Let's see if we can dab that around that little one. You notice I'm, I'm constantly shaking these off. I'm trying to get the excess off because otherwise I'm going to end up with a whole bunch of glitter that um, is all mixed together and I can't really reuse it. That's like my little 
cup down here full of random colors, all the extras and all the mixes, and that's Miley's glitter. So when she's working on keychains or she's working on whatever it is she's working on, um, she kind of goes in there and and gets her little stash of glitter. But we'll see how this all looks and see if it looks like ocean. This is just a chunkier glitter, but this stuff is gorgeous. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got all these different colors. I never knew there was such a difference in glitter until I started doing this. And let me tell you, not all glitter is the same. Not even close. So I think, um, I think I might have a little too much white down there for my beach kind of part. I'm probably going to add some more stuff into it on another layer. And then my final one is going to be a, ah, I just dumped glitter on the floor. See, that's why I have glitter on everything. The last thing I'm going to do is add in this really fine glitter because it's going to fill in and all the holes. And it's going to make this look more like a teal kind of bluish kind of water, which is definitely not a um, Texas beach, but it's where we would like to be today, right? In Florida or something like that, where you have this gorgeous beach. So let's see if I can add that in there. And Again, I don't really like a solid line on anything. I, I like it kind of to blend and move and water on the beach doesn't, you know, look perfect. So here I am, like this. I'm gonna attempt, it looks like some of it fell out, so I'm probably gonna be digging some glitter out of that later. And I'm gonna get another one, clean piece of parchment paper, because this will probably have a lot of mixed glitter in it. Again, Miley's pile. And so, I'm gonna kind of bang that down and you can see how everything kind of falls off of that. Um, so I wanna get all that loose stuff off. And then I like to roll it because that chunky glitter is so hard to epoxy. You'll always fill these little chunks in it So, try to give that a good roll and get those big chunks of glitter off. And here we have a beach, kind of a beachy tumbler, you know, that's the beginning part of it. Um, again, I kind of left this little blue little circle here. I'm really hoping that pans out. Um, I'll take a picture of it later or whenever I get done with this one and um, show y'all kind of what the final result was. But there's how I glitter a tumbler. So from this, it's got to dry um, and give it a little bit of time. And then I will spray it with like a clear coat or something to try to keep all the glitter held on it before I epoxy it because I don't want for these glitters to move all over the place. I want to try to keep the colors where they are. So for the most part, there it is, phase two or whatever step this is. I um, hope you all enjoyed this short video. It's not short. It's 13 minutes. I didn't realize I was going to talk that long. I hope you're enjoying my page. Um, I love making glitters and I love all these new skin products that, that I'm showing you guys. I've been using it for a while and I love it. I wouldn't be offering or, or trying to sell it or trying to introduce you guys to it if I didn't love the products. So I'm getting some new stuff in that I haven't tried soon that I'm really hoping I'll, I'm gonna do a before and after. Um, it's like the cellulite cream. Um, other people that sell, that sell this love it. Their customers love it. They'll buy it by the six or seven tubes at a time because it's supposed to be fabulous. So when my next shipment comes in, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do before and after and I'm gonna try to show y'all and see like probably on my chest area where I've seen like a lot of wrinkles. You know, you hit 40 and I don't know what happens. 
um, you realize you never took care of your skin well enough when you were younger and you probably should have so I'm attempting to fix all that now we'll see but um thanks for the bit thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the site and let me know if I can get y'all anything and I'm hoping to do some more videos um, on cup stuff and also on the new skin products so I appreciate it guys thanks